Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to take a look at the Wulu wireless intercom system. Claims to have 10 channels and three codes, whatever that means. Sounds really secure, doesn't it? Well, we're going to take a look, close look at this guy and see exactly how how it operates. There it is there. Looks really nice. Uh, looks really cool. And we're going to dive into him. Here he is here uh, for sale on Amazon. I picked this up last week. Claims it's for homes, businesses, room to room intercom, communication two pack. Uh, has really good reviews, I'd say. 4.2 out of 5. People seem to like it. But there's nothing to indicate how secure your communications is when using this. Um, sounds like it's secure because it says it has three codes um, in 10 channels, but is it digital? What exactly is it? Well, we're going to dive into it right now. Stick around. So the first order of business, we're going to look at the, uh, the nameplate on the bottom. It says 10 channels, three code, one mile range, FM wireless intercom system. Hmm, I wonder what frequency this thing is working on. Okay, we know it's FM, we know it has 10 channels, but there's the FCC ID, and this thing actually has FCC certification. Uh, probably half the stuff on Amazon doesn't, but that is great because we can look it up, and there it is right there. So we're going to dive into that right now. I'm just going to switch cameras. Okay, guys. We're looking at the FCC report. One thing, uh, when something does have FCC certification, it will have this FCC number on it, which identifies the product. Um, what's really cool is if you're trying to figure out how this thing works, what frequency it's on, what is it doing, the FCC report will tell you everything. And actually, it probably gives away too much information because now I know everything about this product um, and I'll show you just quickly here what what we have. Uh, first of all, the, the test setup. This is typically done by a third-party laboratory, and there it is. It's a third-party certified labor laboratory. There is the intercom there uh, being subject to test in an RF uh, chamber, Faraday cage-style chamber, and there's an antenna pointed at it. So what we're really looking at is... This one here, the exposure info will give us the frequencies. And I scroll down here. I'm getting close. Okay, and there we are. And right away, FRS. Wow. Well, what is FRS? That's Family Radio Service. It's a bunch of spectrum, FCC, probably about 25 years ago, put aside for unlicensed use. Uh, half a watt maximum, which is shown right there. And uh, yeah, it's basically your kitty walkie talkies. Uh, that's what's operating. Now, what's really interesting is it's showing the intercom channel one. They're actually using, uh, okay, we'll get into this later, but it's showing here channel two through 10, or basically those are standard FRS channels. Those match up with the walkie-talkies. And channel one doesn't show it's used, but then over here we have a frequency. So it looks like channel one and channel 22 were flipped around, probably to reduce interference on channel one. So there you go, guys. We now know that this is operating on the FRS band. So now we can do a little bit more close-up analysis. And uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, guys, so there's the Wulu intercom that we just looked up on the FCC site. We do know from the FCC that this operates on the FRS band. Uh, however, we're going to analyze it ourselves, and we're going to do that with this guy right here. This is a frequency analyzer and counter, and uh, it is powering up right now. It is going to tell us the frequency and also the squelch tones or the CDCSS code that this system is using. And to do that, I am just going to place it close and transmit. 
And there we go, 462, 721. And the code, the squelch code is 754N. So, okay, so 46271, there it is there. 462725, that is, the counter is a little bit off, but that is uh, 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 actually it. So it's FRS channel 22. And uh, interestingly enough, I did, uh, did some analysis on all these channels. They were on channel two. And if I transmit that one, you'll see it's 462583. Same uh, C585 for channel two. I went through them all. All the channels do line up uh, with the FRS radios, uh, except for channel one. They're using channel 22. And since channel one is the most popular channel, uh, they probably did that to avoid interference. Uh, that absolutely makes sense. So let's do that again. There we go, 462.721, and the code is 754. Now a little switch on the back for the code. I'm gonna set it to the middle, and let's see what happens. Let's just change channels, go back. 743, okay. And so they're using 743 for the middle one. And let's do this one here, <clears throat> 734. Okay, so there's your, your codes. Uh, clearly, it, this is just a digital squelch. Now, what is interesting about that is the FRS radios themselves, the walkie-talkies, they typically use tone squelch. I actually have, have an old Motorola here and uh, these use tone squelch, so this radio won't trigger that intercom if it's on channel 22. However, this radio, you could turn off the squelch, and if you're on channel 22, you would probably pick up that intercom. So, oh, let's, let's try that. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, so I've got the FRS radio on here, and we are going to go to channel 22 and then we're going that that that's the code the number one um if we turn that to zero and we save that this radio is now squelched by carrier and not by any kind of code and sure enough if i go over here oh yeah there you go we'll turn that down a little bit Hello, 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 hello. Yes, hello. This is this is very insecure communications happening here. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah. You can actually hear out that thumping t -t 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 sound in the background. That is the code, the 745 being transmitted in binary. So there you go. Now what we're going to do next, this radio is not capable of transmitting to that intercom because this intercom is using uh, this digital squelch 745. However, I have some radios that I could program that could transmit that 745 in and activate that intercom. So let's try that next. Okay, so here's where things get really fun. If you really wanted to say you heard somebody on their intercom and you really wanted to surprise them, well, here's how you would do it. You get one of these radios here and we dial in the frequency. There it is there, 462, 721. Uh, and this radio allows me to punch in the squelch tone. Nine. Whoops, hold on, I gotta do function. And there it is there, I dialed in. You can dial it in on these radios here, whichever one you want. 745 and the digital squelch tone. And uh, yeah, so we go function, we're back to that. And now if I pick up this walkie, there we go, see? I'm activating them all. Let's put this guy back on. <clears throat> I 
two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Well, we're going to have to cut the volume down in these things. Uh, and also when they transmit. So I'm picking that up. Turn all these volumes down. One, two, one, two, one, two. Your intercom system has just been hacked. There you go, guys. This system is not secure in any way. And uh, if you thought this was secure comms in your office, you are wrong. I can pick this up probably a mile away. And I can talk back to you too with my walkie. My walkie talkie right here, guys. <laughs> okay, so there you go. And if I'm using the intercom, look at that, picking it up in all these radios. Hello, 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 yes, hello, my secretary, can you bring me in some water? Yes, boss, I'm on my way. Well, there you go, guys. Not very secure, is it? Have a good one.